So, hey guys, Chelsea here. So in this video, I thought I'd talk a bit about the medal exchange. I do it from time to time, but this time I thought I'd go a bit more in depth and talk a bit more about how different people should think. Like how should you think if you barely have any medals or if you got a bit or if you have a ton of medals like me. So let's jump into it. So the medal exchange is here. If you don't know how you get medals, basically uh, you get them when pulling. I'm honestly unsure how much you get actually. I don't really have to think about it. But it's only when you spend gems to pull, so you don't get any medals uh, otherwise. I think every multi or every pool in a multi is one medal, so uh, a 10 plus 1 should be 11 medals. I think that's a fairly reasonable conclusion. Uh, sounds like what I've learned to remember. But medal exchange here is divided into legends, so called Sugo Rare. We have some limited rare recruits that only are available for a month and then they might never rerun again. And then we have some permanent characters. This includes what is called limited rare recruit, which are the top ones. Oops. Going all the way to uh, law there. Then there are some normal rare recruits, which you should absolutely not buy in general. And they go down to White Bay here, then we have a Blackbeard, Luffy and Akainu, which were from an old World Clash. And all the remaining ones are World, Un Journey, Unit World Journey Units. And none of these, except for the normal rare crew, should ever rerun. So they are all worthy investments if you don't have them. But also we have to prioritize. And if we start with people who have not a lot of medals, and especially beginners, the focus should not be legends. Like if you don't have a lot of medals, you should basically not buy any single legend. Like the most enticing ones are usually the 600 ones. Like I can understand if you still still don't have Ray Liga Bomb, for example, they might look tempting. But right now, the only legends available are normal legends. They rerun several times per month. You will get them eventually. If you go hard on a Super Sugo or Anniversary Sugo, you will eventually pull them. So those 600 medals can buy you six uh, rare crews that maybe never will rerun. So <laughs> the, it's, it's just an awful deal. Uh, so by limited, I'm mostly talking about these. And it's also important to have some context. Not all of the limited units are as valuable. For example, now for Christmas, we have Chopper, Robin, Tashigi, Law, and Bonnie, who are so-called Christmas rare recruits that they Bandai did back in the day. They rerun every single Christmas. They are also old, not very good. So you shouldn't just buy something because they are here. You should like press on them, like I can press on Robin here. Check her special. Okay, we can get that 1.75 times call affinity for Fighter and Cerebro for one turn. Might not be worth it. We also have an in rare recruit Robin that can do a call affinity for three turns. So, yeah, might be better to just go with that. Then I can understand you want it for the artwork or such collection, but you will most likely be able to buy these next Christmas as well, and you might have more medals. So what you really want to aim for are the more limited ones, and usually those are from older treasure maps that don't really rerun anymore. So in this case, it's the Luffy, Ace and Sabo. And they can have better specials, like this Luffy special. It's okay, not the best, but it's okay. But you always want to check the support. In this case, this Luffy can remove resilience and give you a recovery orb, both for Ace, Garp, Sabo and the Dan, very strong support. I've used it quite a bit. Ace has a support, 
can, can give you a death down conditional for free and Sabo can give you a color affinity for Psy units. Uh, these are not the best units we ever get, so this might be one of those cases where you have to decide who is worth it or not. Personally, I don't think I've ever used this as a support at least. I've used him as a sub for fun sometime, but if I had to choose, like I have to prioritize, like I only have 200 medals, I'll get the Luffy and Sabo. And you should always wait until you know next month, because next month might have something even better. So this is what you should prioritize if you're a new player and it's always good to have some buffer because I can talk for myself like since world Union units for example are permanent I'm more inclined to use them in teams since you can buy them so if you want to copy some of my teams you might need to buy one of these sometime it's not like the first unit that I go to it's only like I miss a very specific unit then Maybe instead of a Kizuna legend, I can go for one of these units that you can actually get. So that's if you don't have a lot of medals. But what if you have quite a bit of medals? You might have like 1000, 2000 medals. Well, that it's basically still the same thing. The priority is still the limited units. You can keep a bigger buffer though. You can feel safe. Some of you can splash. You can have room to pick up the permanent units whenever you want without having to think too much. And you might even be able to pick up a legend from time to time. Uh, I still recommend not to really splash on these expensive ones. I think the value proposition for 400 and 600 medals is super crazy. Like back in the day when we started with medals, we had like 150 medal legends. And those were really good. You could even buy them for level limit break. Uh, 250 medals is still the range where maybe you can buy them for level mid level limit break but sadly like personally i could buy the white beard i don't have him level limit break max but even with as many medals as i have i don't really feel like the value is there but you can consider it but i still say if you have a milling amount of medals you should still be conservative you maybe don't have to skip a limited unit if you don't think they are good enough. But you should also maybe not pick up every single one like all of the Christmas recruits in this case. Finally, for people like me who has a ton of medals and basically has nothing to spend it on. Like this month I'm not spending anything. Uh, I have all of the legends. I have most of them level limit broken except for Whitebeard. So I could buy a Whitebeard but as I said, I don't think the value is there. I have all of the, these and I have all of these. So the question for me is like, do I need all of these medals? Can't I just buy the white beard? Can't I just buy some dupes for level limit break potentially? And that's a fair question. I ask myself, why, like, why am I saving the medals? And the easy part is that uh, these medals might be more valuable in the future. Like right now, we have seen some small changes over time, like a year ago, we didn't get rare recruits or trash map, stuff like trash map rare recruits. We didn't have world journey, maybe we started to get them a bit a year ago. But things change, so maybe a year from now, maybe finally Bandai makes the move to put limited units here. Imagine for example, let's do an extreme example. Legend raid you from the Kizuna, we to raid you. That's going to be one of the hardest Super Tandem units in the game to max. So if that radio pops in here for 600 or even 800 medals, well, that becomes a very different dynamic because, well, I can get one for free, start my road to rainbowing radio. It might be very expensive, but so is the trade worth it? That's going to be an important question. And also, like, if you don't have, say they put out, like, Legend Kuma from PvP, and you never pull on PvP Sugos. Will that be worth 600 medals, 800 medals? Maybe, but to make that decision, you need to have a very good saving for the future. And that's what I think all the time when I'm like, do I do this spending or this spending? So that's why I don't feel bad about 
my amount of medals increasing because I'm hoping that I will be rewarded for that in the future. So those are my thoughts about spending medals in the medal exchange. Let me know if you agree and how you spend your medals in the exchange. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.